All right, super quick video. Um, getting ready to tune this on uh, Thursday with Chris up at More Mafia. We did the link pipe, which if you remember yesterday, this was brand new stainless steel and a totally different color than that. You can see just from one ride, it's already starting to get the same kind of yellowish, goldish color. So that's good. Um, but one of the things you need to do when you go to uh, tune it is you gotta disable the pair system or SAI, different, I forget which Kawasaki uses. They're all the same thing, secondary air injection. Um, it's an emissions thing to dump air from the, clean air from the uh, air box into the exhaust manifold through a solenoid. There's a hose that goes off the bottom of the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, air box. It goes into a solenoid and into the exhaust manifold just to put extra O2 into there to make the emissions look cleaner. Well, when you go to tune it, and you're gonna be taking O2 and CO2 and you know different gas readings on the dyno. You don't want those, those uh, numbers to be off. Um, you want them to be accurate, so you need to disable that. So there's, they sell block off plates and all kinds of stuff which necessitates pulling up the tank and getting around the air box and getting down. It. You could spend money and go to that trouble, or you can do something really simple. You see that rubber hose right there, the one that the light is right on? That is the hose that comes from the bottom of the airbox, and it goes over here to the solenoid. Uh, let's see if I change angle. It goes to a little solenoid back there, and then into the exhaust head, or into the head, the cylinder head where the exhaust manifold is. All you have to do is just block that. You just have to block it so that your readings uh, don't have extra O2 in them and you're not tuning incorrectly. Now you could just pinch that hose off while you're doing the dyno tune. What I did was just reach up in there. You'll notice there's not even a hose clamp on the damn thing, right where that light is. Go in with a pair of long, long needle nose pliers and just slide that off. You don't have to take off any, you don't need any other tools. You don't need to take off the tank. You don't need to do anything. Reach in, pull that off and pull that hose out. It'll stick out a few inches. Take a tick of marble, like a, ch a child's marble, a glass marble. Grease it up. So it slides in the hose easier, and then if you ever needed to get it out, you just squeeze it out like you're squeezing toothpaste. Jam that hose, that barbell in there, and then reconnect that. That's all you gotta do. That will 100% block the flow of air. It doesn't matter what the solenoid's doing. You can still disable it in the tune if you want when you flash the ECU. But that's all you have to do. For the, for the cost of a marble or a rubber plug, whatever you have handy, just insert it into that hose. No air will get through there, so it doesn't matter what the solenoid's doing. It doesn't matter that there's no block-off plates. It doesn't matter that it's still connected. That will 100% block the flow of air so that the gas readings you get coming out of the exhaust while you tune will be accurate. That's all you got to do. It's the simplest thing to do. This bike's easy. On other bikes, you got to lift the tank up a little and figure out where that hose is. It's literally right there. I mean, my finger's on the hose. That's the hose. Pull that end off, stuck a marble in there, reconnect it, done. Hope that helps.